right, the Malaguena. We're going to begin with an E major chord. And the first line, you're going to start with the E major chord there. Then you're going to just take this form and move it up. And you hit that three times. And then back down. Now with the right hand, what I do is I strum it. So I'll go like that. So slowly, if you look at my right hand, I fan the fingers out on the way down. Thumb comes up. And then I move it up. And then down. And then for that last E chord, I take my I take the nail from my ring finger and I just pull it straight up. And it's usually closer to the bridge so you get that nice ponticello sound. So again, it's... And then back down. And then you get into the melody. So let's start by looking at measure four and just do the melody. So you're gonna hit the open sixth string, fourth fret, second fret. And that repeats. And then if you take a look at measure six, you're gonna go open five, third finger, second finger. And then once you have the bass part down, then I would add the other. And I'm using my index and middle finger and just alternating. So like that. And then when I go to measure six, I put my first finger on the C first fret second string, hit the fifth string, third finger, second finger. So slowly that line goes like this. Then if you go to measure seven, I keep that first finger. Third finger goes to the G on the third fret. When I go to this note, I take off my first finger. And then first fret, like that. So that measure, measure seven, is gonna go. And then it repeats. So measure eight is the same as what we had in measure four. This repeats. All right, then measure 14, this is where it changes. So the bass line is going to go straight up. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F. And I have my first finger down on that C again. So I go. And then third finger. And then measure 16, you're going to form this. The full chord is an E major chord. But we're just hitting these two notes. So I just put these two fingers down. So you go fourth string, third, second. And then the E major chord. So again, measure 16 is just going to go. E major chord. So that's just a repeat of our introduction. So measures one, two, and three. All right, measure 20. We're gonna do that same basic melodic pattern, except the right hand's gonna be a little different. So instead of alternating like that, we're gonna turn it into triplets. So I go. And what I'm doing there is I'm planting my fingers. So I plant, pluck, plant. But the, the melody is going to stay the same. So this is all. And if you look at measure 25, it's still repeating. So then measure 30, that's where it ascends like we had on the previous page. So you have this. So I keep that first finger down, open four. And then if you take a look at measure 32, we have this.
Okay. So the next two measures, measures 32 and 33, I'm going to alternate between this and this. Being at measure 32, you have, and then the three and one go down, back to here, again. So that would be measures 32 and 33. So without stopping, it goes like this. Measure 34, open, third finger, second finger, open, third finger on the sixth string, first finger. And if you take a look at measure 36, we have this just like we had at the beginning. And then when you go to measure 38, again, like we had uh, in the first section, now we're going to do triplets. This is a repeat. All right, measure 44, we're gonna to go to the slow section. And what I do is I put the full chord down right here. So this chord right here is an E major chord. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring, like that. And then when you get to that first string, you're gonna put that pinky on the seventh fret. So slowly. So after you have that, you're gonna go uh, to the fifth fret. Two, four, two. First finger on the, on the fourth string open. So it's gonna go like this. So a little hammer on pull off. First finger on the fourth fret and then open. Then we're going to do the same thing except with the chord one fret higher. So now we have this chord. This is an F chord. So same, same basic right hand pattern. So you go like this. And then we're going to do this little hammer on pull off thing. So three, four, three, one, three, one. Move this to the third fret. Third fret, or then we move it to the first fret. So you've got this. And then open first, E major chord. After hitting the first string, I go thumb, 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 index, middle, ring. All right, measure 49 is repeat what we did before. And then this is also a repeat. Measure 52, we're going to descend with these pull-offs. So it's going to go 3, 1, 0, 3, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 2, 0, 3, 2, 0, 3, 1. And then when you get to the open six string, you're going to do a trill. So slowly it's going to go like this. Last note, you have the open six string. The Malaguena melody is going to come back with the tremolo. So the melody is going to be is going to begin on the ninth fret third string. You're going to go and then to the second string and then twelfth fret on the second string. So it's and then what I do is I add the tremolo twelfth fret on that first string. So slowly it's going to go. Repeats. So a little faster. And then for the next section, I do a half bar at 10. And slowly, you're going to hit the second string. And then I use my pinky to get to the 13th fret. Third finger hits the 12th. So slowly, it goes like this. And if you look at measure 58, you take off that third finger. Third finger goes to the 12th fret on the third string. Take it off. And then it repeats. You're going to go back to here. And 
and this repeats. Now for measure 63 and 64, you're just going to stay in this position. Alright, measure 66, we have this repeat here, which we did earlier. And what I will do on the repeats is I'll try and play them a little differently. So for example, I might play it more Ponticello. Or dulce just for something different all right measure 71 we are going to do a hammer-on pull-off open first string fourth fret on the first string so you get this sound you do that for three beats then we're going to do the Malaguanian melody as harmonics so it's gonna be 12th fret so I do them as if you're playing artificial harmonics and then you're also going to go to the 16th fret and then to the 19th fret. So you've got this. Now you want to do that as you're doing this. So you've got this going. And then what we're going to do after this is we're going to hit the 12th fret on the 5th string. And you're going to hit that. And you're going to go to the 8th fret. And then to the 7th and then the fifth, and then the third. So you've got this. And then this repeats. And then this repeats until you get to this point. Now we're gonna go up to the 10th fret. So you've got this. So then if you take a look at measure 80, it turns into a tremolo section. So I begin with my 12th finger, my 12th finger, my 4th finger on the 12th fret, hit the open 6th string, middle finger is going to get that G sharp, which is 11th fret on that sec 11th fret on the 5th string. So you've got this. First finger is going to grab the B right here, so it's 9th fret, 4th string. Repeat. Then I hit the harmonic, I let go of the, the pinky, hit the harmonic, open first string with the tremolo. Second finger is going to be 10th fret, 4th string. First finger, pinky hits the 12th fret on the 5th string. Middle finger, 10th fret. First finger, 8th fret. So that little section goes like this. Then it repeats. And then this is the same. Repeats. Now we're going to hit that harmonic, fifth string. And then we're going to go to the ninth fret on the fourth string, tenth fret, twelfth fret with the pinky. First finger at ninth fret on the third string. Second finger, tenth fret. So that's going to go. All right, then the melody goes to the lower octave, uh, similar to what we did at the very beginning, except we're going to do it with a tremolo. So we've got this. Now measure 94, you're going to put your first finger on the F, first fret on the first string. And so third finger. Second finger, open. Once the third finger goes down, I release the first. So measure 94 is going to go. Repeats. All right, measure 97 is repeating. And then we're going to go first finger down. Third finger. All right, now measure 100, we're going to play notes that are two octaves apart. And what I do is I put my middle finger on the sixth string note, and I put my third finger on the first string note. And we're going to just do that, that melody. So you've got open, put this down at the fourth fret, seventh fret. So 
So measure 100 goes like this. Uh, measure 101 repeats. We're going to go down to the 5th fret, 8th fret, 7th fret. So again, it's going to go. Measure 103, 5th fret, and then down to the 3rd fret, and then down to the 1st fret. All right, measure 104, repeat of what we did. Repeat. And then measure 106, 8th fret, 7th, 5th, 3rd, 1st, repeat. Uh, 109 and then now we're gonna go fifth seventh eighth tenth back to the eighth tenth and now we're gonna repeat this for two measures and then open six and now we're gonna do a raschiato and so I'm doing what I did, what I showed you at the very beginning. I'm fanning the fingers out on my way down and thumb up. So you've got this on the E major chord. Then you move it up to the second fret. Then you move it up to the fourth fret. Then you move it up to the seventh fret. And then I let it ring. Before we get to measure 119, now we're going to do what's called a Bartok pizzicato. And what I do is I pluck, pulling straight up. So you have this. The string flaps against that fingerboard, so that it gives you a, a more aggressive sound. And I'm just going to do that melody, so I'll go. And then fifth fret. So again. And then the last part of it is I have this chord right here. So I've got my pinky on the seventh fret on the fifth string. First finger is on the fourth fret on the fourth string. And I take my middle finger, the nail from my, nail, my middle finger, the nail from my middle finger, and I closer to the bridge, I'll just drag it across, across the strings lightly. So it ends like this. 